Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So it's time for my February plans. And I have to remember that February is a short month. There are only 28 days and it's already, at the time I'm filming is this, the third. So <laughs> what I have planned needs to be kind of a small list so that I can get through everything. Um, trying to, as I do every year at the beginning of the year, I try to um, set reasonable expectations for myself as we always do. Um, but when it comes to plans, I get real excited about new things, you know how it goes. So, but for February, keeping it simple for now. <laughs> okay, so let's start with, I guess we'll start with the refashion. So, P.S. Thank you, Marie Kondo. She has gotten everybody to go through their closets and donate a lot of really great quality stuff simply because it doesn't bring them joy anymore. Not that it's torn, not that it has a stain, just because they're like, ah, no, no joy from this guy, going to the Goodwill, which I am benefiting from immensely. Um, part of me, wanted to think, oh, it's a new city, it's a bigger city, maybe that has something to do with it. But this is like another level. The turnover is so incredibly high. Every time I go there, there's new stuff and really, really good, cute stuff. So much so that I started a Poshmark. So if you want to buy any of the stuff that I have found at the Goodwill, go check out my Poshmark. Um, I think my username is ITH resale, like inside the hem resale. I'll put a link in the description box. You never know. Maybe there'll be something there for yourself or your granddaughter or daughter or <laughs> I don't know. I'm just finding like good quality stuff and I'm like, why not? I think I'll try and resell it and see what happens. So I only have like fewer than 10 things there, but oh well. Something else fun for me to do. Anyway, so I found this. Um, this is a BB Dakota dress. Um, it is a double knit, um, like a pinky mauve with black. My only hesitation about this, and I thought about it in the store, is what do you guys think of it with my coloring? Does it wash me out? Is it still cute? It's a little close to my skin tone but that's kind of like cool now. So that's why I'm hesitating on what to make. Part of me just wants to take it all in everywhere, like take apart the seams and just make them all smaller and then keep it as a like little fit and flare double knit dress. But a part of me is like, I don't know about this up close to my face. So if that's the case, then I will make a little pair of shorts or even like a jacket where, you know, it have like, black here and then the the little jacket over um I don't know but this is definitely what the fabric I'm going to be using because it's February and it's like you know pink and red and all of that everywhere so I thought this would be fun and I really do love like the lace look of this um I'm just a little bit concerned about the coloring but looking at it now in this kind of more natural sunlight it's not so bad right um if that's the case then yeah I'm just gonna just gonna size it down and make a littler version of it. This is a 2X, so there's that. So that'll be my refashion for this month, super simple. Um, I might even try and add pockets because, you know, pockets are awesome. Okay, next up is, this is a project that I've sort of started on in that I cut it out and cutting it out was a beast. I mean, it took uh, an entire weekend to cut it out and that is Vogue. 9157. So I'm making, I guess I'm making this version. Yeah, with the pockets. Um, but I got enough buttons to make to put the buttons on the sleeve for here, too. So I guess I'm combining. Um, yeah, am I making the collar? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making mostly this version here. Um, and my fabric is a gray Melton wool. It's very nice. This is one of the pieces here. And the lining is this. You've seen this at Joanne a thousand times. So, um, it's like this. 
Isn't that so pretty for the lining? I'm so excited about it. Um, basically, I've gotten together uh like the outer part but they're still all separate i still definitely have a lot of work to do on it but i do want to finish it because this week it's going to be 70 degrees like it winter is already almost over puxatawney phil didn't see his shadow spring is coming and so i've got to get this made before it gets too warm and that would be so disappointing to finish it and then not get to wear it for months and months i'm not even planning on going anywhere cold like I, I mean, obviously I'll make my trip to New York, but we're doing that like at the end of spring. So there's no reason I would wear it then. So anyways, I got to get cranking on this so that I can at least wear it a couple of times before it gets too warm. And then um, Cricut put up a legitimate women's skirt pattern on their design space that you can use the maker machine to cut it out. And so I was like, well, I definitely have to try that. And I don't know, I'm, I'm taking a little bit of a risk design wise because the skirt is like paneled. And so I saw these fabrics on fabric.com. They are rayon cotton blends. And I thought it would be cool to do the panels out of the same fabric in different colorways, right? So like we've got black dots on cream, we've got cream dots on black, but they didn't have, the third one that they had, I don't know if it goes, but it's um, navy dots on red? I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this like totally crazy? Am I gonna hate it if all three of these are put together? Here, let me try and figure out a way to show you them where all the right sides are out. Right side right side i mean that doesn't look terrible right oh but the red one is only going to be one panel and then the rest of the panels are the other two so it's mostly the black and white and the well the other black and white what do you think that looks kind of cool right i don't know i'm feeling very like on Project Runway All-Stars, when the woman comes in to do the critiques, she always goes to this one guy and she's like, oh, you've got green and blue. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, he's like, I think they go together really nicely. And she's like, you do. I feel like that's me right now. Like, I feel like these go together okay. Am I losing it? I hope not. If not, it'll be a really fun skirt. But, um, Anyway, so their skirt, I figured out after reading the instructions, can be reversible. Hello, how cool is that? So then I was like, well, I have to get something completely different than those dots. And so I decided on this. It's the same substrate, meaning it's the cotton and rayon again, but in this fun print. And then I was like, well, you know, if I'm going to make a reversible skirt and have this be one side would be kind of plain. It would be really cool to make a top to go with it so that when you wore this side with the top, it looked like a dress. So enter, <laughs> oh my God, Simplicity 8789. Do you guys think I've lost it? Are you like totally convinced that I'm just off my rocker? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing myself to be a little bit more creative and maybe make choices I wouldn't normally make I don't know I didn't have any fabric in my stash that I wanted to make it from so I had to go buy something and I thought well if I'm gonna go buy something then I'm gonna make it fun at least so that'll be interesting reason enough for all of you to stay tuned <laughs> at the very least I am super excited about this I feel like this is gonna work out even if the skirt does not work out um I just I just love the idea of this so much that you can tuck in a flowy top and have it not come undone. Um, I've never made underwear or panties or bathing suit or any of that before. So, and as you guys know, my bum is like the hardest part of my body to fit. Um, so I don't feel like underwear is gonna be any different than that. Um, or different in that regard. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'll figure it out. I'll make it work. Um, so yeah, so there's that guy. And then, okay, so um, 
uh, So My Style this month, they finally got it together and they were doing t-shirts in February. And there are a couple of patterns for t-shirts, but it's like t-shirt patterns are a dime a dozen. I'm just gonna use one of the ones I have. And I'm going to use stash fabric, which is always my thing with So My Style. I like to use the stash fabric. I don't wanna go out and buy new fabric for So My Style. So I have a couple of lightweight knits in my stash that are like prints or whatever, but I really think I wanna just make a staple that I'm really gonna love. So I have this olive green, um, shoot, it's not Pima cotton, it's, oh, I can't remember. I got it from Style Maker Fabrics forever ago. I'm not even sure if they still have any, but you know, I don't have an olive green t-shirt. I think it would be super cute in the spring with white jeans, with blue jeans. Um, so I think I'm just gonna make a basic t-shirt, maybe even one of the free ones, um, out of this. I kind of want it to be like a little bit slouchy though. So maybe I'll size up, you know, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. I think I'm just going to keep it simple and not overcomplicate it with any of the patterns or anything else. Just something super, super wearable. And maybe if I like how the pattern turns out, I can crank out two or three of them this month because I do have a couple different colorways of this. I got real excited when she got it and I was like, send me all the colors. Um, so yeah, but I think for this month, it's just gonna be the olive green. So, okay, I know I started this video saying that it was a short month and I was gonna keep it easy on my plans, but so far I have a labor intensive coat, um, a t-shirt, a skirt that's reversible, a top, and a refashion. Maybe it's still too much. <laughs> um, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Oh my God, I totally forgot about something. Darn, oh my, okay, so I have uh, two more projects, three more projects, but um, golly, where'd the fabric even go? Here it is. You guys are gonna die. So it's the um, Deer and Doe Myostosis, Myosotis, whatever that shirt dress, it's really oversized and really cute out of this. Isn't that awesome? It's like embroidered cotton. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so maybe I do. I did bite off too much for January, but I gotta get it done because the Cricut thing has to happen this month. I really want the top to go with it because it just makes sense. I promised myself I'd do the fashion, promised myself I would do so my style. So it is what it is. I guess I'll just have to sew every single day, darn. <laughs> No, it's good. It's good to sit down and do these videos. It kind of gives me a, like a reality check of like things I've committed to, things that sponsors are paying for and stuff like that. So that helps me because now I know I can't, I can't lounge around and relax. Like I gotta, I gotta get to it. Um, but if anything gets cut, it's going to be that coat. Huh, darn. It is just, it's very labor intensive. Uh, that'll just be pushed off to the side for last because no one cares if I finish that or not. <laughs> that's what it comes down to. And honestly, like that's not as important to me as the refashion and so my style is. So sometimes you just gotta prioritize. But anyways, I'm rambling on and on now. Um, that's gonna do it for me today. I'd love to know what you're working on. If you're doing so my style um, and you're making a t-shirt this month, let me know what your plans are. Are you doing like a cute t-shirt with like a tie? all of those uh berta style um the new berta style patterns like the ones in the envelope owned by simplicity came out they have so many cute t-shirt patterns i'd almost forgotten about that oh. um so let me know if you're gonna be doing so my style and what your plans are for your t-shirt um other than that I'm going to go because I got to maybe sew something tonight. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.